Good evening viewers, welcome to the Northeast News Bulletin. This is Rodali bringing to you the headlines first. Prime Minister Modi inaugurates first India Art, Architecture and Design BNL at Red Fort. Reserve Bank of India keeps repo rate unchanged at 6.5% for fifth time in row. Zoram People's Movement leader Lal Duhoma takes oath as Chief Minister of Mizoram. Assam government taking measures to transform Guwahati into gateway of Southeast Asia, says Assam Chief Minister. And over 1,000 AK ammunition grenades, wildlife articles seized in Meghalaya's Rebhoi district. And now the news in details. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today inaugurated the first Indian art, architecture and design Biennale at Red Fort in New Delhi. He unveiled seven research publications on the occasion. The Prime Minister also inaugurated Atmanirbhar Bharat Centre for Design. Speaking on the occasion, Modi said that the Red Fort itself is very historical and this fort is not just a building but it is a history. He said today India's rich culture and heritage is attracting the foreign tourists. He also said the work is being done in the field of art and architecture with the spirit of pride. IAADB is being organized in line with the PM's vision to develop and institutionalize a flagship global cultural initiative in the country. यह एक इतिहास है आजादी के पहले और आजादी के बाद कितनी ही पीढ़ियां गुजर गई लेकिन लाल किला अड़ी है अमीट है इस वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट लाल किले में आप सभी का बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन है साथियों हर राष्ट्र के पास उसके अपने प्रतीक होते हैं जो विश्व को उसके अतीत से और उसके मूल्यों से परिचित करवाते हैं Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the two-day Uttarakhand Global Investors Summit at Forest Research Institute in Dehradun today. Addressing the investors on this occasion, PM Modi said, the Uttarakhand Global Investors Summit is a golden opportunity to invest in the state. The Prime Minister stressed strengthening the local supply chain and MSMES in the country. He said that the country will have to focus on increasing exports and reducing imports. The Prime Minister said that in his third term, India will emerge as the third largest economy in the world and this is bound to happen. हमने ये देखा है और उत्तराखंड ने लोगों ने पहले ही करके दिखाया है जनता ने स्थिर और मजबूत सरकारों के लिए जनादेश दिया है जनता ने गुड गवर्नेंस के लिए वोट दिया गवर्नेंस के ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड के आधार पर वोट दिया है आज भारत और भारतीयों को दुनिया जिस उम्मीद और सम्मान से देख रही है हर भारतीय एक दायित्व के रूप में इसे ले रहा है Trinamool MP Mohua Moitra was expelled from the Lok Sabha today after a debate on the cash for question allegations. Earlier in the day, the Lok Sabha Ethics Committee submitted a report recommending Moitra's expulsion from the House. In October, BJP MP Nishikant Dubey, based on a complaint by Supreme Court lawyer Jai Anand Dehra Drai, alleged that the Krishnanagar MP was asking questions in the Parliament in exchange for cash and gifts from businessman Darshan 
Hiranandani. In an affidavit to the Ethics Committee on October 19, Hiranandani claimed that Moitra provided him with her parliament login ID and password so that he could post questions directly on her behalf when required. निष्कासित कर दिया जाए जो सदस्य इस प्रस्ताव के पक्ष में हाँ कहें जो विरोध में ना कहें मेरे विचार में निर्णय हाँ वालों के पक्ष में हाँ वालों के पक्ष में प्रस्ताव स्वीकृत हुआ the Reserve Bank of India has kept the policy repo rate unchanged at 6.5% in its monetary review meeting. This is for the fifth time in a row that the MPC has maintained the status quo. Briefing about the bi-monthly monetary policy in Mumbai this morning, RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das said that the monetary policy committee MPCs has unanimously decided to keep key rates unchanged. Das added that consequently the standing deposit facility rate remains at 6.25% and the marginal standing facility rate and the bank rate at 6.75%. Consequently, the standing deposit facility rate remains at 6.25% and the marginal standing facility that is MSF rate and the bank rate at 6.75%. The MPC also decided by a majority of five out of six members to remain focused on withdrawal of accommodation to ensure that inflation progressively aligns to the target while supporting growth. In Mizoram, veteran politician and ZPM leader Laldo Homa was sworn in as Chief Minister of the Hill State today. He was administered oath of office and secrecy by Governor Hari Babu Kambhampati at Raj Bhavan in Aizol. The 74-year-old Laldu Homa joined politics in 1984 when he was elected as Lok Sabha MP on Congress ticket. He was walked the political corridor for almost 40 years before assuming the chief ministership. In this year's elections, he led the Zoram People's Movement ZPM to a decisive victory, bagging as many as 27 seats in the 40-member House. Apart from the chief minister, a total of seven cabinet ministers also took oath of office and secrecy. In accordance with the constitution and the law, without fear or favor, affection or ill will. Now it's time for a short commercial break. We will be right back. What are you watching that? Don't you often say, think before investing in the stock market. So I'm trying to gain some knowledge. From whom? That this stocks expert makes great educational videos, gives good investment tips too. Dad, don't rely on such videos. Do your own research or contact a SEBI registered investment advisor. In the name of education, some influencers often misguide investors. You'll have to bear the losses. So much good, so much good, invest Chief Minister Dr. Himanta Bishakharma on Friday delivered the inaugural address for the Northeast States Conclave on Urban Planning organized by the Government of Assam's Department of Housing and Urban Affairs in collaboration with the High-Level Committee of the Union Ministry of Assam Administrative Staff College in Guwahati. In his address, Chief Minister Dr. Sharma said the current government of Assam attaches great emphasis on the process of urbanization across the state with special focus on Guwahati, Northeast India's largest city. Housing and Urban Affairs Government of India. The fourth edition of Major Bob Cutting Memorial Lecture 2023 was held in USI New Delhi. In a compelling and insightful lecture, Lieutenant General Arun Kumar Sahani, PVSM, UYSM, SM, VSM retired, shed light on the topics evolving scenario in Northeast. Its strategic implications during the general drew on his extensive experience and expertise to provide a comprehensive analysis of the strategic challenges and opportunities in the Northeast region. Earlier, Lieutenant General PC Nair, PVSM, AVSM, YSM, SM, PhD, DG of Assam Rifles gave the introductory remarks and underscored the intricate geopolitical landscape of the Northeast, emphasizing the region's strategic importance due to its proximity to international border. In Meghalaya, 
One person was arrested and huge quantity of ammunition and wildlife articles were seized on Thursday night by the police in Rebhoy district. According to the police, in the overnight operation carried out by the teams of Pilankata Outpost and Umiam Police Station of Rebhoy, large quantity of ammunition and wildlife articles were seized from the possession of one person hailing from Mizoram. He was staying in 9th Mile Buridua in Rebhoy district. The police said the accused was apprehended and necessary action is being taken up under relevant sections of law. Chief Minister Konrad Sangma took to social media handle X to announce the seizure. The seizure includes 1052 rounds of AK-47 ammunition, 2 grenades, 4 magazines, 34 seals of various departments and 9 antlers curl of deer and cash. In Arunachal Pradesh, West Kameng District has achieved the Har Ghar Jal status. Announcing this in his social media handle of X, Chief Minister Pema Khandu said the development as a significant milestone and it reflects state government's commitment to ensure every household had access to clean water. Tripura Chief Minister Dr. Manik Saha said that continuous development efforts of the double-engine government of the state continue under the guidance of famous Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Taking to his social media handle, Dr. Saha said that three more new projects are going to be implemented with the entrepreneurial efforts of the current government. These three projects include construction of G-plus four-storage science building in MBB College, 50 seats women hostel of Gonda Tuisa Degree College and new health and wellness centre for the city residents in Agatala, Masterpara. Sikkim Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang Gole today met with a total of 107 patients from Sikkim undergoing referral treatment in New Delhi. The Chief Minister interacted with the patients and their attendants obtaining brief reports on their treatment. Tamang assured government support to the patients. He said that ambulances for patient transshipment have been provided with plans for one more additional ambulance dedicated to DKK Bhavan. And now it's time for another short commercial break. We will be right back. Do you know there's an investor protection fund for investors, IPF, but if your trade isn't executed on the exchange or if it's some guaranteed return scheme, then even IPF will not be able to help you. And what if your broker becomes a defaulter? Then? In that case, IPF can provide you with compensation. Where did you learn this? NSE's website. So much good, so much good, invest to start. Welcome back. In Nagaland, Vixit Bharat Sankalp Yatra for the urban local bodies was launched by Dr. Tino Jonshi Chang, Deputy Commissioner in the presence of Manpai Pong, Administrator, Dimapur Municipal Committee at Naga Shopping Arcade, Dimapur, today. Addressing the gathering, the DC stated that the main objective of this program is to create awareness and help the people in availing the various government schemes. Around 17 schemes are provided through different departments, but many are not yet aware of such schemes and so the main objective of the ministry is to reach the unreached to the grassroots level. Remove any trace of colonial mindset. Our idea behind this whole yatra is to reach the unreached for getting the benefits of different central government schemes meant for the citizens in the urban areas also and rural. Then we have to listen from the citizen, those who have got the benefits. To end the news, the main points once again. Prime Minister Modi inaugurates first India Art, Architecture and Design BNL at Red Fort. Reserve Bank of India keeps repo rate unchanged at 6.5% for fifth time in row. Zoram People's Movement leader Laldu Homa takes oath as Chief Minister of Mizoram. Assam government taking measures to transform Guwahati into gateway of Southeast Asia, says Assam Chief Minister.
And over 1,000 AK ammunition grenades, wildlife articles seized in Meghalaya's Reboy district. That brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.